Hi, in my presentation, I will be discussing the issue of whether or not there was cannibalism in the American Southwest. As our teacher mentioned, and we have already learned, there are many debates in New World archaeology. One such debate is whether or not cannibalism existed in the American Southwest. This is an extremely touchy subject to talk about. As in our society, cannibalism is forbidden and looked down upon in many Native American cultures. Therefore, the mere suggestion that the ancestors of Native Americans could have possibly eaten other humans is a huge slap in the face and is viewed by Native Americans to be another attempt by white society to make them out to look like savages. Because of these reasons, there are many attempts to discredit evidence that show signs of cannibalism. So why do researchers believe there was cannibalism in the American Southwest? Over the last 100 years, at least 32 sites reviewed by researchers showed signs of cannibalism. Human bones found at the sites exhibited cut marks from knives, indicating the meat or muscle was removed from the bone. They also exhibited scorch marks, indicating the bones were cooked in a fire. Lastly, they also had a rubbed appearance, indicating they were boiled in pots. People trying to discredit this evidence of cannibalism point to other reasons for the disarticulated, cut-marked, and scorched remains. Other explanations could be that the bones were disfigured due to extreme violence. An extremely brutal attack could leave cut marks on bones. Bodies could have also been mutilated by attackers. A second explanation could be that the removing of flesh from bones could be part of a ritual or ceremonial practice, similar to how the Egyptians removed the brains of the dead before mummification. These other explanations seemed possible until advances in technology made it possible to examine evidence found at these sites biochemically. One example is a prehistoric Pueblo site in Colorado dating from 1150 to 1200 AD. When cutting utensils and cooking pots were analyzed, they showed the presence of a human myoglobin protein. Human myoglobin protein is a special protein that only occurs in the muscle tissue and the heart of a human. The myoglobin protein was not found in any other pots or containers, such as storage pots, indicating that the muscle and heart were uniquely cooked. They were not stored as part of a ritual or ceremonial practice. In addition to the myoglobin protein being found in cooking pots, the myoglobin was also found in human feces at the site. Research trials show that myoglobin protein can only occur in feces when human muscle or heart is consumed. It cannot occur in feces by any other way. This evidence proves that humans ate humans at this prehistoric Puebloan site. That cannibalism, this idea may be so repulsive that it seems really far-fetched. However, instances of cannibalism have occurred even in modern human history. In 1846, American pioneers were trapped in the winter without food and ate each other. More recently, in 2010, 33 miners were trapped underground in Chile for 69 days. The miners had decided to eat each other instead of starving to death. Luckily, the miners were rescued before they had to resort to such extreme measures. These instances prove that in extreme situations, humans will resolve to eat other humans. To support the claim that cannibalism occurred at the Colorado site, there is evidence that an extreme drought occurred in 1150 AD, which could have created a scarcity of food. In conclusion, biochemical analysis proves that humans ate humans in the prehistoric American Southwest. However, this evidence should not be seen as a sign that humans were eaten on a regular basis, nor should this evidence be seen as a value judgment of Native Americans. Most of us have not been pushed to the brink of existence and cannot comprehend how desperate one can become when facing death. Therefore, we cannot look down upon the few select and Native Americans that resorted to cannibalism. <laughs>